Hello, this is Mike with AutoDrop 3D. I kind of wanted to give an update about some of the stuff that we've been working on. Um, right here, this is OpenSCAD.cloud. Uh, this is a new website that's been set up with a version of OpenSCAD that runs inside the web browser. Uh, you'll notice that I'm actually on a Chromebook here. I'm using a uh, just a, a Chromebook and uh, this is all inside the web browser. The way that this thing works is that we have the code editor over here on the left, we have the, uh, the 3D view here on the right, and we have our file listing here. So I'm gonna demonstrate a, uh, a two-part OpenSCAD uh, project. Uh, so I'm going to come over here, and this is a this is an OpenSCAD project that has an include. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put this into my main.scad, and I'm going to also create another file called ring.scad, and I'm going to copy the contents uh, for the other one in here. So I'm going to create a new file here. So this is now the ring.scad. I'm going to go and copy this. Paste that in here. You'll notice that this is a nice little code editor. Um, you will you can see the credits on the, the main homepage here. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to hit run. It's going to take a couple seconds to run here. And what it does is it executes the file called main.scad. And um, it produces the output here. Now, if I go back over here, I can go and adjust this. So let's change this maybe to like 45. Hit run, give it a second, and it'll update. Now you'll notice that I am doing this all on a Chromebook here, um, and I'm doing the screen recording, so it's kind of slowing things down a little bit. But this is uh, this is basically the the OpenSCAD code editor. You can edit it here. You can add multiple files, um, and you can view the output object here. You can also export an STL and download it. Um, we have the, uh, we could turn the solid on and off. We can adjust the transparency on the solid. We can turn on and off the, uh, the wireframe. Yep. So uh, I do want to talk a little bit about how the OpenSCAD port was done. So this gentleman here, Dominic uh, Shore, uh, he contacted me a few months, uh, about a month or so ago about uh, a bounty that we had posted for getting OpenSCAD ported to WebAssembly, and it's now uh, it's now working. His project is here on uh, GitHub, and uh, you can uh, see how to use it. This is basically the command line version of OpenSCAD, so you'll have to kind of roll together your own visualization and code editor if you want to use it. Um, there's also somebody else who has uh, done a, uh, a similar kind of a thing here. Um, and I actually used his um, code highlighting file in order to set up the, the one that we're using. Um, and his is located here. Uh, and you can see it takes a couple seconds to load. Uh, but this is a uh, another implementation of it. Um, but yeah, this is the beauty of this open source stuff. Um, there's a it's a it's a fully functional OpenSCAD editor that works inside the browser uh, with no uh, no need to install anything. It works on Chromebooks, and it's uh, basically ready to rock. Um, yeah.